Welcome to Sterling News. What have you got for us today, Jules? Uh, today we're going to be looking at an old technical bulletin that was re-released again uh, in February last year. Technical bulletin 110. Ooh. Which is to do Le with... Le leaks. Pressure drops and yeah. leaks. Yeah, or permissible pressure drops, okay. as we like to call it, even though there is no such thing, really. This is where I can leak. Is there such a thing? Four millibar leaks all over the place. This is where, yeah. I mean, unfortunately, it, it points back to this table. This table is actually from uh, the IJUP one d which is our uh, domestic tightness test and purge documents. Um, probably causes more arguments in the in the industry than any other old thickness table. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, it, it kind of gives people license think they can leave four millibar leaks on systems. Um, Provided there's no smell of gas. And where there's no smell of gas. But unfortunately, that's not exactly the case. Um, the criteria for that table is with appliances connected and no smell of gas. Um, so that would indicate if you have got a four millibar leak over two minutes, um, as an example, um, then the next course of action would be to isolate appliances. Because effectively, manufacturers are saying we could have leaky gas taps, things like that. <clears throat> Correct. Yeah. Through I think the it probably harks back to back the, old, the, old the old days, older yeah, appliances, back in the, old days, the good yeah. old days. Um, the, the, the crux of the matter is there is no leak allowance on pipe work, whether that's existing or new. Okay, so and that hasn't changed, has it? No, that's always been the case. There is no leak allowance for pipe work. So um, the fact is, if, if you isolate appliances and you've still got your four millibar leak, then obviously you've proven it to be on the pipe work. It then has to be found and traced, uh, and obviously repaired. Yeah. So um, there is there is something else going on along those lines, isn't there, with um, the emergency service providers? Ah. Uh -huh. As which technical magic. bulletin is that, Jules? Uh, this technical bulletin is 042, which came out in March this year. Um, and it's just emphasising the fact if you are attending, um, following an ESP uh, concern for safety, so the gas has been capped at the meter because there was a smell of gas or uh, a proven leak, um, you have to attend to repair. Uh, there is now, there is no leak allowance whatsoever in that situation. So you're not even allowed to have the leak allowance that's in the tables. So let's get this right. So if ESP comes out, they turn off, do the bit. Yeah. You get called in as a gas safe registered engineer. Yeah. You're gonna get your U-gauge out, do the business. You've got to trace and repair that escape. There's no allowable losses. No you can't allowable. say why well, it's on an appliance, <clears throat> there's no smell of gas formula, blah, 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 blah. All that goes out the window. You've got to fix it. It's gotta be fixed. Right, and There's what technical no bulletin is that? This is technical bulletin 042. Check it out, gas safe register guys, mm. good one to have in the van that. 042, um, get a look at that one. Definitely worth looking at. Yeah, and the procedure for the tightness test uh, as well uh, is in the PDF section. We have our own version of that, so it gives you all the information on the, the pressure loss table. In our in our sort of bulletin, and there's all, there, I mean, there is. I mean, you know, not blind on a trumpet or anything, but we have put a lot of effort and a lot of work into those um, PDFs in the PDF section. There's a lot of new people coming onto the app. Obviously, now it's free. Yeah, yeah. Um, I would I would wholeheartedly get you to have a look at that, guys, and uh, and and check it out because there is a lot of information in there which is is useful to you know new experienced whatever it's there. Um, and Correct, it's free yeah. to look at, so uh, um, yeah, by all means. And if there's any information anybody wants to know, uh, we'll do our best to help. Fantastic stuff. So uh, I think that's it for this one. Fantastic. Well, thanks for watching. Stay safe out there, boys and girls. Stay safe out there.